I would like to show you some of my pre bonsai that I'm working on. And so here is my Japanese maple and I'm just starting to cut the branches and getting the first uh, yeah the first styling of it and it's uh, looking good I really like this one still has a lot of development to do but uh, yeah it's growing well and I put it in this pot and uh, the branches looks quite nice and I'm developing it as a small bonsai and here is something I planted this summer I'm not sure what species this is actually I'm gonna look, look it up later and I can write something down below uh, but this, this, this tree is planted maybe six months ago so they're really growing well and it's gonna become beautiful I think quite sturdy stem as well <laughs> and I also have some really small um, trees. These are the giant uh, sequoia. Yeah, the giant sequoia. Uh, one of the largest trees in the world. And they're actually growing real well as this summer. Uh, roots are coming out down the bottom. This was also planted six six months ago. And I have more of these smaller ones over there, growing a bit larger. And here is a large tree. Large. And yeah, same as that one. This one is maybe one year old. It's been growing like crazy this summer. The stem has thickened up so much. Uh, it's unbelievable. Uh, so yeah, it's quite thick at the moment compared to like in the start of the summer it was thinner than this I think and it just took off and if you look at all the roots underneath it's really growing well loves it um, other than that there's a lemon tree I planted also maybe one year ago it's growing great. I got inspired by <laughs> Nigel Saunders. His lemon trees looks amazing and I would like to have one as well. So I'm working on that. I already have a bigger lemon tree that I got from someone. It was almost dead, completely dead. This is also in my first video. It is growing back some tips and getting some new shoots on the stem but it takes forever for it to grow back so I'm not sure if I'm going to keep it. Uh, it's going to recover, I think, but it's taking ages. And here is one of my biggest ficuses. It's a ficus benjamina, the one with really small leaves, but it's growing real well. And I, this is also from my video I did earlier. Um, and as you can see, it's really looking nice and healthy. The leaves are kind of not shriveled up, but they're quite slim. I don't know why, if it's because it's a little bit cold outside during the night or if it's a lot of sun. Uh, we are in Sweden so the weather is probably not optimal for ficus and it's been outside all summer and it's been quite cold lately. Not really cold cold but yeah a lot of rain and such. But since I cut all the roots off, the root base, it didn't have anything at all. Just cut the stem it's been growing back great and I still have some of those uh, roots that became aerial roots now so we're gonna replant this in yeah maybe a month or two and then keep it on the grow light so the, during the winter and we'll see and probably need to prune it back as well after the summer and then uh, let the grow lights do the rest so it will grow back in but yeah, excited to repot this and excited to show you guys the the progress. Uh, and yeah, here are some more microcarpa that I cut all the leaves off in the start of the summer. Grew back really well. Um, and this is uh, another maple, Japanese maple, some other sort I bought. But uh, yeah, it's not looking great. 
I repotted it, cut off a lot of roots. Uh, it was two trees in the same pot. This one, it's going to recover. That one looks a lot better. It's just some leaves shriveled up, but that's about it. And here is one of my big oaks. It's a Yamadori oak that I collected two years ago. And it's <laughs> all the leaves dried out two times this summer. I was a bit sloppy watering it, so it dried out completely. But it survived and put out new growth every time, but weaker for every time it dried out. So now I'm just letting it grow and it will have to yeah, regain its strength for maybe two years. But the growth that came out came out from the stem. Uh, the thick trunk that before had nothing growing on it so that's actually great I can use that later on if I wanna do a, a trunk chop so yeah that's good and another oak that I planted myself a seedling and trying to make a, I wanna make a root over rock with this one uh, and it has a, this gnarly root down there and the roots are quite long and I want to make a yeah, root of rock with it. And here's a, some sort of juniper, some blue, it has kind of a bluish uh, color to the needles. Uh, and yeah, of course, here I have another oak that I uh, planted from seed. It was a long time ago and it's growing in real well. I thought it would die because last winter it, yeah, it had no leaves on it and yeah, it almost died off during the winter. And lastly, here's a, a what do you call it? Uh, it's a hornbeam, yeah, some sort of hornbeam. I'm not sure which variety or species. Yeah, it's a hornbeam, that's the species, but yeah. I think it's a European hornbeam, but I'm not sure. It's not looking too great, but uh, it won't. It will survive, and it will probably look a lot better next year, because I repotted it as well, and it's lost almost all leaves and then came back. So, yeah, I think we'll do fine. So other than that, everything is looking healthy, and here are the other giant sequoia. Uh, the stem is naturally curved on this one and this one also has some character, early character so yeah, it will be fun to develop these and here's some other uh, Portlacaria Afra that I got this summer this is a different variety than the other ones but these are the same as the first one I show um, so yeah, and some more uh, ivy cuttings so I will keep developing and updating these uh, for bonsai and I hope you like the video and my short introduction to <laughs> all my different plants I have working with. Uh, the tropical plants will be in a lot more videos to come when I work on them during the autumn and winter time. And yeah, I will probably show you my light setup and everything like that if you're interested. and. Uh, Leave a like and comment below if you enjoyed my video and I see you next time.